Dancing to a robot in the classroom. Experts predict they will become a permanent fixture in schools. Pilot studies with robots are already underway in different countries. At the annual BET exhibition in London, companies specializing in classroom electronics showed how pupils are being prepped for a new technological era. The main purpose is to fill the gap between the theory learned at school and the practice required by the market. In the past, we're constantly teaching children about knowledge. They're repeating, they you know, recite whatever the teacher told them. They do a lot of exams, but they don't know the new technology. They don't know how to do it by, them, by their hands. You know, they just memorize the knowledge, but knowledge cannot help the industry, cannot help the future of civilization. The idea behind this learning process is to help pupils experience what their teachers are talking about. One example is chemistry. Every teacher everywhere in the world knows there are certain topics that are really hard to get across to students. Um, if you take the example of the periodic table, it's, it's a piece of paper that shows you all of the different elements, and then the teacher explains to you that you have electrons orbiting around, and that chemical and gravity bonds hold this all together. Um, and as a student, you just have to accept that, because the teacher is unable to demonstrate it to you. It is possible to learn in other ways, not just listening to theory from a teacher, and that is what is behind a device created by the company Touchable Universe. In every class, 30% of all the children are what you call kinesthetic learners. It means they were born in a, uh, so that they learn best by putting their hands on things. So if you put them in your classroom environment where they're not allowed to put their hands on things, you're depriving them of their primary learning process. And it's also true that all children learn better as you layer on extra senses. So sight and sound is obviously better. Sight plus sound plus touch is better again. And what is better than playing and learning? These bricks may look like and work like traditional building blocks. In reality, they contain all sorts of high-tech gadgets, including sensors, servers, LED lights, and a Bluetooth connection. It is a robot that anyone can build. The blocks are color-coded so the children know what each one can do. For example, to make something move, you need an orange block, because that's the one that has the motor. learn both basics of robotics because they get an understanding of what kind of electronic components you need to build a robot but they also learn basics of coding because once the robot is built in order for it to do something like they have to program it in an app. Many of these learning aids are set to become more common in the classroom. What part robots will play in education in the future will be linked to how teachers choose to use them rather than being dependent on the technology itself. They may help, for instance, to humanize the increasingly digital and sometime remote classroom experience for many pupils. Some experts believe robots and gamification are changing not just the classroom, but the way children are able to think about their futures.